Today we're going to continue with our Space Invaders app and focus on what happens to our bullets once they reach both the top and bottom edge. We'll then go ahead and later look at the reset button in order to get our app to return back to its normal state. In order to open up your project, you're going to need to open up App Inventor in a new tab or window. Go ahead and navigate to your App Inventor account. From here, use your Google student email address and click on Create Apps. Once you're in MIT App Inventor, click on your Space Invaders project to continue building your app. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bullet behavior when an edge is reached. You may have noticed that if you miss the saucer, the bullet moves to the top of the screen and gets stuck there until you try shooting again. To make the bullet disappear when it hits the top edge of our canvas, we need to use the Bullet Rocket Edge Reach Event Handler. Now once we've completed that, we will need to do the same thing for our bullet saucer. To make that bullet disappear when it hits the bottom edge of our canvas, we need to use the Bullet Saucer Edge Reach Event Handler. Now in order to see how to do this, let's go ahead and head over to our MIT App Inventor and program both of those event handlers. Now once you're over into your MIT App Inventor, we're going to need to navigate over to our block section. Here you can see we've completed four different event handlers at this time. When the rocket sprite is dragged, when screen one initializes, when rocket sprites touched, and also when the bullet rocket collides with. For this part of our activity, we're going to need to create two additional event handlers. One, when the bullet rocket edge is reached, and two, when the bullet saucer edge is reached. So let's go ahead and start with our bullet rocket. Go ahead and click on your bullet rocket, and from here we're going to use when bullet rocket edge is reached. From here what we're looking for is whenever that bullet reaches an edge of the screen, we're going to turn that to false so we cannot see it anymore. We've already gone ahead and done this in our screen one initialize, so let's go up and grab that bullet rocket visible set to false and duplicate that. Take your bullet rocket and place it into the bullet rocket edge reach the vent handler. Once you have completed that, the next step is to go and duplicate that event handler and change the components to match the bullet saucer. You can click on the event handler and right click and select duplicate. Notice that this will give you an error message since we have two similar event handlers. We'll need to go ahead and change the bullet rocket over to bullet saucer. So now when the bullet saucer edge is reached, we're going to set the bullet saucer visible to false. You've now created an app where when the bullets reach either the top or bottom edge, they will become invisible and we will not be able to be seen by the user. Now that we've programmed our edge reach, the next step is to go ahead and take a look at our reset button. Sometimes users might want to restart the game and reset their score. When this happens, we need to set the bullet rocket and saucer visible to false. We'll also need to go ahead and set the score label update back to zero as well as setting the miss label update back to zero. So let's go ahead and take a look at our Space Invaders app and program our reset button. Now for our reset button, there's four items at this moment that we need to update when that reset button is clicked. The first is we need to set that bullet rocket's visibility to false. Two, we need to set the bullet saucer's visibility to false. And then we're gonna need to set both the score label update as well as the miss label update back to zero. So let's go ahead and grab our event handler from our reset button. Once you find your reset button, you're going to use the when reset button is clicked. So when we click that reset button, our main focus right now is getting the visibility to turn off. And we've already done that in several of our event handlers. So we're going to go ahead and grab this bullet rocket visible to false in our screen one initialize. And we can just go ahead and duplicate that and drop that into our reset button. We can go back to that screen one initialize and duplicate the bullet saucer visibility to false as well. That will take care of the visibility for both the bullet rocket as well as the bullet saucer. The next thing we need to do is update the text for our labels. So we're gonna grab our score update label. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and set the text so that it goes back to zero. So once we drop that in there, we're gonna need to grab a math block and we'll place the number zero afterwards. From here, we can go ahead and duplicate that block, and we're gonna change it from score update label to miss update label. That will reset our misses back for when we get to that portion of the activity. Now that you have your reset button programmed, it's time to go ahead and test your app. Now, as seen before with our app, what we're looking to test here is when that bullet rocket is fired, what happens to the bullet itself when it reaches the top screen. 
Previously, when we tested this, the bullet would appear at the top of the screen and remain there. So now if we go ahead and drag that rocket and release, we should see that the bolt will disappear once it reaches the top of the screen. In order to test the reset button, we're gonna need to go ahead and fire at the saucer so we can see our score update. Once we see our score update, we should be able to hit reset and the score will go back to zero. Now that you've programmed your edge reached bullet behavior as well as your reset button, we're ready to move on to the next portion of our app.